Hello, and welcome to the Parent Core, where Common Core is not a chore. Today, we will be talking about a diagram used to represent part, part, whole problems. The steps that we're going to use today are, one, read the problem, two, decide who or what the problem is about, three, decide how the numbers in the problem relate to each other, four, draw your model, five, write a number sentence, six, solve the number sentence, and then seven, determine if your answer is reasonable by using estimation strategies. The first thing you need to do is read your problem and decide what it's all about. Our problem for today is a school earned $423 from a bake sale in August and $2,750 from a cookie dough fundraiser in November. How much money did the school earn during the school year? In this problem, we can decide that it's all about a school's money. The next thing is to decide whether your numbers in the problem represent a part of the school's money or all of the school's money. Using the diagram, we can clearly see that 423 is some part of the school's money. It's not all of it. And $2,750 is also some of the school's money. Since all of your parts are known, you will need to add to get the total amount. And your picture would look like this. The question mark would be placed at the appropriate place and a number sentence would be written on the side and solved for the answer. Our second problem says, an auditor reviewed 924 documents from the previous tax season. 754 of those documents were filed correctly. How many documents were filed incorrectly and need to be audited? For the second problem, make sure you read carefully and identify what the problem is about. Notice here that 754 represents some of the tax documents and is written in the part section. But 924 is talking about all of the tax documents and is written on the total line. When you are trying to find a missing part, your number sentence will be a subtraction problem. The answer for that problem is 170 or 170 documents, excuse me. The third problem is slightly harder. This one talks about three parts and two of them are known and one is unknown. The total has been given. The Keebler elves are busy making cookies. So far, they've made 9,872 cookies. They have 4,258 fudge stripes, 2,294 rainbow cookies, and some animal crackers. How many animal crackers have they made? The numbers 4,258 and 2,294 are part of the total. They're only some of each type of the cookie. Also, some animal crackers is a part of the total as well. The total is 9,872. From this picture, you can do one of two things. You can take the total, which is 9,872, and take away each part separately. So 9,872 minus 2,294, and then when you get that answer, you can also take away 4,258. Another way is to add all of your parts together and subtract them from your total all at once. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if it has been, feel free to subscribe. I've also put a link down below in the description box for extra practice.